welcome students welcome to the zoology wala and uh, in the last class we have seen uh, the structure of uh, the alimentary canal starting from mouth to the anus and now as i told uh, now i am i am going to explain you the histology of uh, the alimentary canal let me tell you that the wall of alimentary canal itself contains four layers outermost layer is the serosa so the serosa is the first layer followed by the second layer is muscularis and third one is submucosa and the deepermost layer is mucosa four layers are present serosa is an outermost layer below which muscularis is present below which the third layer submucosa and innermost one is mucosa total four layers are present the clear diagram was given in cbse textbook and now we will see what are the components of submucosa or components of the serosa first of all serosa contains a outermost layer called the epithelium and also contains a, the areolar connective tissue two components are present first of all please see the diagram clearly so what are the layers i mentioned there there i mentioned serosa muscularis submucosa mucosa so serosa contains an outermost layer epithelium below which areolar connective tissue is present you can see there epithelium and areolar connective tissue are the two components and just uh, see this is an uh, serosa which contains an outermost layer epithelium below which areolar connective tissue is present so epithelium below which areolar connective tissue and now below that here you can see the muscularis muscularis contains a longitudinal muscles like this longitudinal muscles and below which inner circular circular muscles are always present like this longitudinal muscles are present in the form of bundles like this so longitudinal muscle and circular muscles are present you can see that longitudinal muscle layer circular muscle layer the two muscle layers which are present in the wall of alimentary canal especially if it is stomach oblique muscle layer some cross muscles are also present if it is oblique muscle layer why because in the stomach gastric glands are present hydrochloric acid is going to produce which may damage the wall of the stomach in order to protect the wall of stomach from highly acidic gastric juice so called hcl oblique muscles are going to play crucial role so if it is stomach only oblique muscles are present if it is stomach only or else circular muscles and long longitudinal muscles are the two sets of muscles seen and below is the submucosa here you can see the submucosa submucosa is the layer which is present below the muscularis towards the lumen and submucosa is, a, is 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 the tissue is the layer which contains a number of nerves blood vessels are also present loose connective tissue is present in the submucosa if it is the duodenum i am going to tell you one important point if it is duodenum brunner's glands are present if it is the duodenum okay glands in the submucosa you can see here glands in submucosa if it is duodenum only here if it is uh, duodenum then brunner's glands are present b r u n n e r f astrophes okay these glands are present if it is duodenum very important point and the fourth layer is mucosa mucosa contains outermost one muscularis mucosa lamina propria and epithelium epithelium here innermost one so muscularis mucosa followed by lamina propria and then epithelium in the central lumen is present these are the layers present in the wall of alimentary canal let me write here number 1 epithelium number 2 areolar connective tissue number 3 long muscles number 4 circular muscles number 5 submucosa sixth muscularis mucosa seven lamina propria epithelium and this is an area ninth one lumen where the food material is generally stored and the actual digestion will takes place in the lumen because of the glands which releases enzymes where those glands are present i already mentioned one type of gland called submucosal glands which are present in the submucosa of duodenum only and this epithelium it shows the foldings which forms the number of glands if it is stomach the innermost layer mucosa shows the foldings the foldings which are present in the stomach are called gastric rugae rugae in between those rugae gastric glands are present so gastric glands which produces a uh, gastric juice in case of stomach because of the foldings of uh, mucosa 
and if it is intestine, the foldings of the mucosa shows intestinal glands, intestinal glands which produces intestinal juice. I will tell, I will show you one diagram also uh, where the villi, number of uh, you know blood vessels, capillaries all present. I will, I will, I will show. Before going to see that particular diagram, let us see two important components present here. In the submucosa, this is a submucosa area. See, this is submucosal area. This is the submucosal area. And here, now plexus are present called plexus of Messner or submucosal plexus or Remax plexus. Submucosal plexus, nothing but the nerves which are seen in the submucosal region. And similarly, you can see another layer just below the circular muscle layer. Here you can see in between circular and longitudinal, longitudinal muscle layer, another nerve plexus is also seen called myenteric plexus or plexus of Arbuck. Nerve plexus are present, one nerve plexus is present uh, just below the circular muscle layer and here you can see and above the circular muscle layer in the submucosal region there is another nerve plexus. Two types of nerve plexus are present, those nerve plexus are plays a crucial role in number of uh, activities like movement of the, the alimentary canal and also the signals for the release of uh, the enzymes given by these now plexus group of nerves are present here. So, these are the two now plexus present uh, in uh, the wall of alimentary canal. That is all about the histology of uh, alimentary canal. Just now I told you that gastric glands and intestinal glands, what about these intestinal glands where they are present, what about these gastric glands where they are present. What about the foldings which are present in the stomach? I told you the foldings present in the stomach are gastric rugae. If the foldings are present in the intestine, they are called intestinal villi. I will show the intestinal villi. Imagine villus, finger like projections, villus. In between the villus, here crypts are present. These are the crypts. So, crypts of Libercone which produces, which produces intestinal juice. So, I have to tell you the gastric glands and intestinal glands followed by the salivary glands and the digestive glands like pancreas and liver in my next video. That is all about the histology of alimentary canal for today's video. Thank you.